We're going to continuously be questioned because we do things that have never been done. That's the way our life has presented themselves. We do things that have never been done, and that makes people uncomfortable. When you see a, a confident black man sitting up here talking his talk, walking his walk, coaching 75% of African Americans in the locker room, that's kind of threatening. Some of y'all may not understand this, but this win today that Coach Dion Primetime Sanders and the University of Colorado got today, this was straight up and down for black culture straight up i think it will be reasonably uh, uh prudent to believe that black folks from all over the country and possibly all over the world are celebrating right now because this is a win for black culture some people may think that you know coach prime being in university of colorado they think it's just another coaching job but in my opinion this is representing so much more this is why I got a picture of MLK right here, and then I got the picture of uh, Colts Prime. I am not trying to say Colts Prime is MLK at all, but what I am saying is what uh, Colts Prime is doing, it is for the culture, and we're going to talk about that for a second in this video. I'm t Man, I am so happy. Now, first, let me get this out the way. I know there's going to be people from Jackson State that are going to be very, very upset about what happened. And let me just say, I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? I totally understand, and I'm not picking a side on that. But one thing I can say, with Coach Prime being in this position that he's in right now, and he basically kicked the door in, and he said what he's been saying all along, we coming. We coming. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what he said. And when he did his interview, that's what he said today. So I know that there are always going to be people that's going to be upset about what happened in Jackson State, but I need y'all to understand the bigger picture. Coach Prime could be opening the door for other black coaches in college football because let's be quite honest about this thing. Black head coaches, whether it be in college football or college, I mean, or the NFL, it's not that many. Just to be quite honest, they don't think black folks is smart enough or, or crafty enough or good enough to be black coaches. So this is why I'm saying, Coach Prime, I get it. What happened in Jackson State, you know, I, I know there's going to be some people that will probably hate him forever, and I get that, but y'all got to see the bigger picture for this. Deion Sanders is at the door, and he's kicking this door down that will hopefully open up more avenues for other black coaches, whether it be in college football or the NFL. Now, before I go on, I got to just keep it real. Before I go on any further, I do got to give this warning to uh, Colts Prime. Now, no pressure, no pressure at all. Now, of course, I'm kind of using a little bit of, you know, comedic overtone or undertone, whatever you want to say. But Colts Prime, this is a message from me to you, bruh. We are depending on you, the black culture. We are cheering for you, I would imagine. But one thing I got to say, bruh, you were off to a good start. You kick that door down and you said, we coming, we here, give us all of it. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I got to say, bro, you got to keep this momentum going because I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if you end up not performing and you end up being in a situation where they continue to be a losing team, then white folks is going to run you out of Colorado. I'm telling you. You know, and I'm not, you know, again, this is kind of sarcasm and whatever, but, you know, them white folks, they welcomed you in that white community. Boy, they go run your behind up out of there. People are so excited. They name and they got grits, you know, being sold now. They name and sandwiches, you know, primetime sandwiches, you know, primetime grits, you know, primetime Kool-Aid, whatever it is. Right. But I'm telling you, boy, you and your sons and everybody that came with you. If, if, if y'all don't perform the way that you have promised, because I'm telling you, man, I'm excited. So many people are excited, man. But if you don't live up to them expectations, woo we boy, they're going to round up the posse. They're going to chase y'all out of Colorado. Y'all ain't even going to be able to pack y'all bags. Y'all just going to have to grab your coat off the hanger. Y'all going to have to hop in that car or hop on that plane and get up out of the state of Colorado. Now, no pressure now. You know what I'm saying? No pressure. You know, I'll just, you know, again, that's this comedic effect. But honestly, man, Dion Pronton Sanders, you know, um, this dude has an opportunity to really, really help the culture. 
because like I said previously, you know, when it comes to these um, very super duper important positions, whether it be quarterback position, you know, whether it be the head coach, whether it be the general manager, all these different positions, let's just keep this thing real. The NCAA, as well as the NFL, they don't think black folks is smart enough to do the job. They don't think black folks is capable enough to do the job. They just don't. They think all we can do is just play, and that's enough. Just like that one lady, what was it, Laurel, Laura Ing Ingram or whatever from Fox News, talk about just shut up and dribble. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want us to do. They just want us to get out there and to play and to make the money, and that's it. So this is why I'm saying, man, if Colts Prime can can really just take this to the next level, he is going to open the door for so many other people. And I can really say, man, I have enjoyed the excitement that's come with this. You know, you've seen um, who was it, Tara Lowens? He came out there to highlight the students. Um, uh, Michael Irvin, he came out there highlight the students and partisan wisdom on them. What's his name? Uh, Warren Sapp. You know, a lot of other people. So you can tell, man, that that black culture, Snoop Dogg. I remember I seen some video, I think, where they was in the locker room just dancing. Now, that was Jackson State, I believe. But still, I would imagine <clears throat> Snoop will probably come to uh, Colorado and do the same thing. So this is why I say, like, this is for the culture. So if, you know, you are one of the people that, you know, rightfully so, you are upset at prime time and you felt like he did Jackson dirty and did Jackson wrong. I get that. I am not in this vid. I'm not doing this video to try to convince you otherwise or to say that you shouldn't feel the way you feel. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I would like or hope or invite you to see the bigger picture because now prime time is on the national stage. He done put on his ski mask, go figure. He took him and his team. They kicked I not even kick. They busted down the NCAA D1 program football door, and they said, Ninja, we here. Now, you know what I really mean when I say ninja, right? But they busted that door down, and they said, all y'all ninjas, y'all on notice. We here, and we coming. We ain't going nowhere. So all eyes are on, you know what I'm saying, primetime, Colts primetime, his staff, and the University of Colorado football players, and the school. I tell you, people want to call. I ain't stopping. I ain't doing this video over again. But anyways, I am so excited, man. Like, honestly. So that's why I say, like, this is huge because he is going to be the catalyst or he can be the, no pun intended, the prime example of, nah, black coaches, we just as competent. We are just as capable. We can do the job the same way these white folks can do the job. Let's just be honest with it. This is what it's about. You know what I'm saying? How many black head coaches can you name that's in a D1 program in the NCAA? You know what I'm saying? How many black coaches can you name that's in the NFL? It's very few, but as far as the uh, NCAA, I don't even know. There might be one or two, but it's, it's really extremely rare. And again, it's rare just flat out because of systemic racism within the sports community. Just let's look, come on, man. Let's be honest about it. So this is why I say, even if you upset about, you know, prime time about what happened in Jackson state, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But look at the bigger picture, man. Dion primetime Sanders has an opportunity to set other folks up. And that's why I say, man, this is like, this is for the culture. You know what I'm saying? What Dion, what, let me, I apologize. What coach prime is trying to do. He is trying to uh, set this up for the culture. Just imagine, right? Let's just say if, you know, God willing, he is successful with the program and he's able to elevate them and they get, you know, a top 10 ranking with, you know what I'm saying? With the team, you know, just imagine the plugs, that he would be able to have, you know, and just imagine, right? Let's say, what if other black NFL players decide, you know what? I think I can contribute. I think I can give back. And then they decide, you know what? Let me go on ahead over here. Let me slide over to this HBCU and let me get it cracking over here, right? That's a, a, a huge possibility. So by him being uh, front and center stage and winning in such a glorious way, and then, you know, he gave praise to God, all this kind of stuff. That is a huge win for black culture. 
<coughs> excuse me. Now I know I got some co-workers that are gonna report this video. They're gonna try to say, Oh, look at him. See, he's racist. Hey, Gillespie, and hey, we got him. Hey, call Crime Stoppers. We got him. He he's he's on there talking about some racist stuff. Yeah, I'm talking about some racial stuff, but the racial stuff I'm talking about, it's not something I started. I'm just talking about the racist systemic issues that are going on and that's prevalent in the sports community. Again, how many black head coaches can you name or how many black head coaches can you remember at big prominent D1 college schools? You know what I'm saying? And the same for the NFL. How many black current head coaches that are at a rock solid, you know what I'm saying, NFL team, how many can you name? So again, they have this notion. For one, let's just keep it real too, right? The, the NFL owners, you know, it, it's a racist organization. They don't want to let black, they barely let Magic Johnson in and the rest. And that's a whole different video. You know what I'm saying? The, the historical context and the historical um, meaning behind that, excuse me, is huge, right? But he had, oh man, I mean, one day I'll do a video on that. But outside of Magic, um, you know what I'm saying, being part of the ownership uh, for the Washington team, it, they don't think we deserve to be in that circle. They don't think we're smart enough. They don't think we're capable enough. And they don't think we have any business being up in there. But today, you know, today, Colts Prime and his football squad, they chin checked everybody, not only in the college world, but they chin checked everybody across the nation. They was like, hey, come get some, baby. We here. And that's why I'm just so excited. I am so happy about this because it's not just about football. Now, again, I get it. I know the boosters are happy. I know somebody commented uh, one of my pages and it was like, man, I know uh, them boosters and them ralliers, boy, they must be dumping money in right now. And they are. I'm sure them boosters, the alumni, I'm sure they on that cash app or they making it rain, whatever they doing. I'm sure they are. But I just don't want people to lose sight of that Coach Prime being in the position that he's in. It is not just about sports, but it is it is about the culture. It is about being able to advance, you know, black folks within these um, influential leadership roles in college sports, you know, uh, mainly in football, as well as the NFL. You know what I'm saying? You're more likely to see a black head coach in, in NCAA basketball, which, you know, the numbers still aren't great, but you're more likely to see it in the uh, on the basketball side than you will on the football side. Right. But, um, yeah, man, I don't want to go on too long about this, but I am excited. And just please, please remember Colts Prime. Make sure you do a good job, bro. Make sure you do a good job. Because if you don't, all them sandwiches and all them grits that they named after you, them white folks is going to run you, your sons, and everybody that came with you, they're going to run you out of that state. And they're going to say, you better not big your black behind back here again. Now. For some of y'all that, you know, of course, again, this is comedic effect, but, you know, there is this saying within black culture, right? Whenever you have black folks that uh, rise to certain levels or it might be the first time a black person did this or the first time a black person did that, commonly, you know, in the barbershops, the beauty salons, things of that nature, people will say, well, I hope they do a good job because if they don't, it's going to be a long time before another black person gets it again. Now, for those of y'all that are outside of black culture and you don't understand that, then of course that's going to sound absurd. But the folks that be going to them barbershops, to the salons, playing them dominoes at the park with the family, all that stuff, you know we be talking about that, you know. I hope they do good because if they don't, well, they ain't going to be another brother or sister in that spot for a long time. So you know I'm telling the truth, man. But again, this is it's just black culture talk, you know, but I'm excited I am just so happy for Prime Time. I wish him and his um, <clears throat> program nothing but the best. And I would also say, too, show love to Jackson State. Show love to the other HBCUs as well. If you are a former um, standout uh, athlete or whatever, or if you feel like you have what it takes and you're a public figure and you would like to coach HBCUs or support them or whatever, I say do it. Support them. You know what I'm saying? Go to that website, check out whoever, you know, is coach. I mean, whoever might have needs for uh, money or for donations or whatever it is, you know, reach out to the HBCUs. I know for me personally, I know I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, 
I'm going to make a conscious effort and I'm going to actually do it with making some donations to different HBCU programs. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really, really important. And I mean, I, that's a whole different video that I can go down, but I just, I just couldn't do this video and talk about prime time and talk about what he's doing without mentioning Jackson State and without mentioning other HBCUs. Now, I will say this. Could you imagine if all of the black talent from whether it be basketball or football or whatever it is, could you imagine if all of the black talent in the sports world, if majority of them attended HBCUs, could you imagine how that would shift the crust of the sports collegiate world? Could you, I mean, just think about that for a second. You know what I'm saying? If they all said, you know what, we're going to support HBCUs and we're going to give back this, that, and the other, just imagine how that would just totally make the collegiate sport platform just so lopsided. You know what I'm saying? But again, that's for a different video. But I am happy for prime time. I'm happy for the program. And this is a win for black culture, man. This is a win. So please remember that this is not just about football. This is bigger than football. This is about prime time busting down the glass ceiling. This is about prime time uh, opening up the doors for other folks because, you know, hopefully we're going to be able to use prime time as an example and say, look, we got other people that are just as influential as him. They have just as much knowledge. They can motivate just as well as him. You know, we need to get more black head coaches going in these college sports, you know, in the football world. And, you know, of course, in the NCAA um, basketball world as well. And, of course, obviously in the NFL. We already know what time it is with the NFL and and, and that um, quasi, I don't even want to say quasi, that racist organization. You know, they just, for whatever reason, they don't want, they barely let Magic in. And I'm glad he got in. But, you know, it's again, that's a different subject, man. But just support primetime. Buy some Jackson State gear, buy some other HBCU gear, and also buy some Colorado gear. Show your support for Prime, but also show your support for the HBCUs across the country. So let me stop this video because I already know once some of my racist coworkers see this video, they're going to get on that phone. Hey, 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 we got him. Uh, Detective Gillespie, he's on there. He, he's talking about some racist stuff. Well, we got him. Send in the Calvary. Look, look we got to arrest him. That's what they're going to do. But, hey, I'm here, and I ain't going nowhere, baby. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here, baby. So until the next video, holla at your boy.